Welcome to the Facebook Revolutionary. I'm Baba Amin. I made this post on the uh, Martin Luther King holiday. We like to point out how Dr. King practiced nonviolent protests. And I've heard black people erroneously compare his style of protest with Malcolm's uh, uh, style of organizing with Marcus Garvey and, and we when and people will say, well, the difference between Martin and Malcolm was that that Martin was nonviolent, right? But so was Malcolm. The Nation of Islam is a nonviolent organization. They didn't launch one violent offensive against anybody. So, so I wrote this post. The Black Panther Party for Self Defense was a nonviolent organization. The Nation of Islam was and is a nonviolent organization. The Republic of New Africa was and is a nonviolent organization. Marcus Garvey's Universal Negro Improvement Association was nonviolent. Malcolm X was nonviolent. Self-defense is not a doctrine of violence. It's a doctrine of survival. Dr. King knew that there were things the enemy feared more than nonviolent protests. Hell, the cops figured out the best way to nullify the effects of a march was to let it happen without incident. Nonviolent organizing, family building, business development, political education, and economic empowerment got way more done than nonviolent marching. The march was the catalyst, the ceremony, the show of unity, but the business went on behind the scenes. The folks in Alabama, the white folks, weren't scared of the march. They were scared that their Negroes could afford to march, were bold enough to march. Who's bringing in Dr. King? Who's housing and feeding SMIC? Is my maid a black rebel? My nanny? My driver? Are they on the other side of the tracks talking about rights and power? Do they want revenge? Do they want wealth? Are they changing their names? Are they adopting black gods? If only they were just marching. <laughs> that generation of black folk was and is off the chain. Literally. Peace.